Huntington's disease is a genetic brain disorder that has a widespread effect on how our bodies function. Mutations in the Huntington, or HTT gene, causes a progressive breakdown of nerve cells, or neurons, located in the brain. This eventually affects an individual's ability to move, their mood, and even how they think. The exact function of the HTT gene in healthy adults is not yet fully clear. But as an adult, the inherited mutation in the HTT gene leads to the production of toxic protein that causes the death of neurons in the brain. This disease is devastating to the affected person and is extremely difficult for their family too. As independence is slowly lost, it is hard for caretakers to manage both their emotional and medical needs, not to mention the stress related to the potential risk of the disease being passed along to their children. This is a 50-50 chance. However, gene therapy might offer hope for this disease, which currently has no cure or effective treatment options. Gene therapy typically changes how cells produce important proteins by replacing a gene that is missing or abnormal. In the case of Huntington's, gene therapy would actually help lower the cell's production of the toxic HTT protein, ideally slowing the breakdown of neurons in the brain. The two main approaches currently in clinical trials use either microRNAs or antisense oligonucleotides to accomplish this. To talk more about microRNA, here's Dr. Beverly Davidson. MicroRNAs are short RNA molecules that prevent or reduce the production of a particular protein. MicroRNAs work as a check and balance system to control protein levels by binding to and destroying the messenger RNA that would have produced that protein. As an example, we can reduce the level of toxic proteins that are causing Huntington's disease by using gene therapy to insert microRNAs to bind to and inhibit production of the mutant Huntington protein. The microRNA needs to be delivered into a cell by a vector, which is often derived from viruses. Don't worry, all viral genes are removed, and the vector is modified to only deliver therapeutic genetic material. The modified cells with the microRNA provide instructions to produce much less HTT protein. The other approach, antisense oligonucleotide, referred to as ASOs, is an antisense therapy that is designed to block or alter how cells express specific genes. Antisense therapy uses synthetic DNA or RNA mimics that bind to the faulty HTT gene to block its ability to produce the harmful protein that causes the death of neurons. A key difference between these two techniques is that antisense oligonucleotides typically require multiple doses, while microRNAs aim to be administered only one time. Researchers continue to work optimistically in clinical trials to safely and effectively slow down the progression of Huntington's disease. For more information and resources about gene therapy for Huntington's disease, go to ASGCT.org.